Again, with uh, our team coverage with Way 31 investigative reporter Brecken Terry. She is looking into the court documents and she's still waiting for them to be made public. Quite unusual, Brecken. Yeah, guys, we do know what Blakely is accused of doing and what his charges are only because the attorney general's office sent us a news release. But when it comes to getting our hands on the actual indictment, that's been tough to get our hands on. We know Blakely is facing theft and ethics charges. Four of the counts have to do with him taking $11,000 from his campaign fund. Six counts deal with him illegally taking money from the county he's served since 1983. The other counts center around a wire transfer and accuse him of using his office to get interest-free loans. I went to the Limestone County Circuit Clerk's office to get the actual indictment to see what else we could learn from the documents. And they told me they didn't have it yet from the jail. Normally, when someone is arrested, their court documents are immediately filed. They told me Blakely's indictment might be in tomorrow. Interestingly enough, as the sheriff was turning himself in today, the sheriff's website and jail rosters stopped working. Months ago, the Way 31 I team heard rumblings of possible misconduct on Blakely's part. Because of that, we filed three open records requests with Blakely and the sheriff's office to obtain financial documents. Those requests were never fulfilled. Now, we did reach out to the Attorney General's office to see if they would offer Blakely a plea deal. They told us no comment. Live in Athens, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.